And you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted. Make sure to check out my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to head over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. Today, we're going to be going over the new content. We did get some new draft players in the game, and yes, I'm starting my intro from the Madden screen because Madden's loading up, and this game takes forever to load up. So, we're going to start from here, guys. Now, remember, we did have the NFL draft last night, the whole first round. They did pause it. At pick 33, which is the start of the second round for the Cincinnati Bengals. Now, first round thoughts, pretty excited about everything. We did get players one through five in Madden. So I'm going to go over all those players, go over some stuff that's coming out later, and also discuss some NFL draft stuff, as well as how I think EA messed this up in, the, in a certain way. I'll go over everything. Rookies are cool. What, how EA implemented them, not as cool. But still, rookies are still exciting. And guys, I'm a Giants fan, so we did get Andrew Thomas last night. Comment down below, guys, if you did enjoy your draft picks. We get Andrew Thomas now. Is he the flashy pick? No. Is he the exciting pick? No. Is he the right pick? Probably. Now, here's the thing. Could there be an argument made that he wasn't the right lineman picked out of the crop? Potentially. I don't know enough about college linemen. I don't really know enough about college lineman mechanics to really judge here and go over who should be picked. I'm just, well, he was pro ready. That's a big deal. I'm happy we got him. And that's it. Like, we got him. Now, I kind of wanted Isaiah Thomas, as you guys hear, Isaiah Thomas, oh my god, Isaiah Simmons, he would have been great, but at the end of the day, if you can't protect your offense, like, in, the, in years past, the Giants had a top defense a few years ago, with Landon Collins and that boat, and the bunch, and they couldn't win because Eli was always sacked, they can, like, the defense would stop, but they could never score. Now, it's not because they couldn't score, they had no time. Now, if we can get more time in the pocket, create create a mesh going, get get some routine going, and the defense will, will buy in as well as we get more players and develop some more guys. So I'm fine with that. Right, guys, here are your three free guys. Now, before we get into today's video, make, make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that on to boys, come join the family. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up as always. If you haven't already, comment down below and like the video. And let me know again who you guys picked and are you happy with your selection. So we got CeeDee Lamb, Isaiah Simmons, and Justin Herbert. So CeeDee Lamb, as a usable card in a budget team, not bad at all. A little too slow for me, but on a budget team would be fine. Isaiah Simmons, Super super fast now the only issue with him is he's got no finesse move and no block shed So I don't really know what you're using him for now. Does he have a zone because of the fact that he does have Because he can't play like safety. So let's see. Does he have a zone? He does have an 85 zone. This card is actually really really good I honestly really like the Simmons card that could start in a lot of teams just for the pure fact of the speed and zone Because that's what I really care about in my outside linebacker spot now the block shit could be better But that speed plus that block shit plus that zone I would easily put this guy left outside linebacker and honestly give him a little chance there because that is not bad. Now let's see what kind of abilities he can get. I'm definitely interested to see some abilities here. All right, so let's talk. Go over to abilities. He can get lurker, which is cool because he can be a user. That'd be a good user, like even as a backup user linebacker. This card is pretty solid. Now, guys, I'm really only just getting like this right now because I've been waiting all year for an outside linebacker with good zone and good speed, and he finally has it now. Again, he doesn't have any of the other stats, but whatever. Justin Herbert, decently fast. Very well-rounded quarterback, great throw power, actually. Again, guys, on a budget team, three free cards, awesome cards. Now, let's get over to the actual players. So, remember, if you had any of the collectibles for the 2020 draft, they would have converted by now. And if you have, if you had to pick one, go make your uh, selection on who you want to take. Guys, there are plenty of good cards to take from this. Now, I'll give you guys my best ones that I think you should take if you guys are still waiting in just a second. But let's go to the NFL draft. So, we got Chase Young. Let's start with the first overall pick. Let's go to this one, Burrow. Where is he? Where are you, big guy? There he is. So Joe Burrow, they're honestly super cheap. So 86 speed, 93 throw power, 99 throw accuracy short, 97 throw mid, 98 throw deep, 97 throw to pressure, 97 throw on the run, 94 play action. Now this quarterback is insane. The only issues with him is going to be his throw deep. And the fact that, I mean, he can't get a skate artist, I believe, so that is good. He can't get a skate artist, but did I say his throw deep? I mean his throw power. His throw power. So I need anyways, Kem up on the team. He's gonna be pretty much 99 on everything. His speed's gonna be awesome now. I wish he can get sprinter, guys. That was really messed up. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go over my EA rants later. But one of them is going to be the fact that they can't be uh, chemmed up with sprinter and stuff. But we'll go over that in a little bit. But card's amazing. If you if you're a Joe Burrow fan, you're a rookie kind of guy. Get him. I promise you, he's gonna play great for you. Put go deep on him so you can get his throw power to 96. Plus, John Madden's gonna be 97 now. That's why I wish you could actually put sprinter. Because then you'd have an, 80, an 89 speed on with John Madden on here, and he'd, he'd be a super fast. Let's go to the next pick, which is Chase Young. Well, actually, he's one of the cheapest ones that I just saw. 175 for a 98 overall. I honestly might have to pick some of these up. Let's compare it to my current left end, which is Michael Strahan. 88 speed, phenomenal. 94 excel, phenomenal. 89 strength, great. 95 tackle, great. Play Rex a little bit low, 
Block shot's great. Finesse, I mean, power move is low, but finesse move makes up for because that is what he is, a uh, finesse move guy. Now, I really do like this Chase Young card. Looks super, super cool. And his strength is, oh, well, we saw that, right? 89. Guys, Chase Young card's awesome. I really like this card. And he's super cheap. Might honestly be a scoop for the squad. I might pick him up. Just because that's a, just pack him up, everything. I mean, obviously, Ultimate Legends are cool, but you want to play with some rookies. We got two Attack of Iloa. Now, let's compare him to a quarterback that we have on our squad, as such as Patrick Mahomes. He actually stands up pretty well. Better speed. Gonna have the same throw power go deep. Better short. Better medium. Better deep. Worst throw under pressure. Gonna have the same throw on the run and way better play action. This Tua card actually looks really good. Now, the issue with Tua is that he's not gonna get Sprinter, but again, I don't even have Sprinter on Mahomes anyways. So I'm not really feeling that too much here. So let's see, let's see, let's see. Juke move seven. Okay, so he does not have a juke move. I thought he might have some more uh, some more abilities there. He is a field general though. So does he get escape artist at an 86 speed as a field general? I believe he does, right? And the four slides gonna get it anyways. But wow, I mean, Tua looks nice. Honestly, I think I'm gonna pick up some of these cards for the squad because they're looking super fun. Then we got Andrew Thomas. Now I'm a Giants fan, so this is my pick right here. Like I said. Looking pretty solid. Let's see. 95 strength, 97 awareness, 96 pass block, 93 pass block power, 93 pass block finesse. So, Walter Jones, way better pass blocker. Run blocker. 99 run block, 99 run block power, 97, uh, 96 run block finesse. So, he's a way better run blocker. So, he's more of a run block guy over a pass block guy, which in real life, I mean, yeah, in real life, I think they talked about him being a big run block guy too. So, same thing. Very similar build in general. Now, let's get over to pick number five or pick number four, which was Jeff Okuda. Who actually looks super solid as well. Let's compare him to a guy like, let's see. Dion's just never a fair comparison for anyone. Compare him to like Denzel Ward or even Night Train. Let's compare him to Denzel Ward. So 96 speed. So that's the only issue. Gokuda would have been amazing if I could have got him to a 99 speed. But you could not. 97 Excel is great. 95 Agility is great. 97 Jumping is great. 92 Player X is great. 98 Man's amazing. 92 Zone could have been better. And 97 Press. Card's great. Like I said, the issue with him is that he doesn't get Sprinter. So in that case, not getting sprinter really limits his ability to be a usable uh, card right now because obviously you want your cornerback 799 speed that's kind of the issue with all of them except for like chase young chase young would still be pretty good even without it now guys you saw how much i like that isaiah simmons 95 i will be picking up a 97 isaiah simmons later and probably tossing my left outside linebacker on the squad that's a great card now if that 95 had a 95 speed and 85 zone 94 speed sorry his 97 should have like a 95 speed and like a 90 zone at least or with with chems he'll have a 90 zone so i'm super excited for that card gonna probably toss him an outside linebacker definitely on the squad super excited for that now out of all these vets and rank him first chase young i'm going chase young first because you don't really need him powered up or chemmed up he's gonna be pretty good on his own in general and then he's gonna get what you need he's gonna be fast with great finesse move and the block is gonna be good enough actually the block's gonna be really good and then next i'm probably going tua i really do like tua now guys joe don't get me wrong joe burrow is good but Joe Burrow's uh, throw power is way too uh, way too low for my in my opinion. And if you compare him to I mean compared to Joe uh, Pat Mahomes, he might actually be even better than Pat Mahomes and even Tua was, because he beats him a lot more in the accuracy category. But the issue with him is that he does not have the throw power that I like on my quarterbacks. Again, you could try him out, but I think a Tua might be the move here. And then the last ones that I'd go with probably are gonna be I probably well, first off last gonna be Jeff Okuda. I think he's last just because I can get a lot more out of cornerbacks for a very similar price. In Madden right now and then Andrew Thomas probably gonna be fourth so in this order it's gonna go first Chase Young then Tua then Joe Burrow then Andrew Thomas then Jeff Okuda because again speed's important at cornerback and you're not able to really get him up in speed much but guys as far as the ramp part of this oh and Mutt rewards later tonight at 4 p.m. and I believe the final 27 draft players will be released at 8 p.m. tonight that is the target time they said it could be early but that is what they're aiming for but guys the ramp part of this that I really wish when they messed up with this First off, they said there'd be special offers last night, and they were just a two-for-one draft pack that literally cost seven dollars, and you get two draft packs at a one. That was a that was a bust. Then, as far as draft players go, draft players are fun. We really want draft players. That'd be super fun to play with. You should. They should have made them just like a uh, team of the week hero card or a, a golden ticket, whatever, where they can still get sprinter on them. They should have done it like that, so you can toss sprinter on them because that's a big part of this game. They're 99 overalls, like at least Burrow. Burrow's 99 should get sprinter. Like, Tua and all these guys would have been a lot more fun with Sprinter. Chase Young could have made them so much better. And they really limit them in that way. So, pretty much every every draft card is going to be two speeds slower than another card you could on the block. Hopefully, they, they patch that. I don't know if that's the right word. Hopefully, they come and they update that in some way or shape or form. But, guys, that's been it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did enjoy today's video, make sure you go below. Hit that subscribe button, boys. Come turn on the dirty bell. I'm super excited for these rookies despite all of that. 
uh, as a left end with my, oh, my only Michael Schreiner right now so that could be a big up for my team at this moment in time but again I, I might just wait because we got some ultimate legends coming see what's coming out this Saturday because I've been waiting for an LT I've been waiting for a few things so you know it all really depends but guys thank you for watching the video make sure to subscribe turn on the new bell like I said go down below smash that like button hope you guys enjoyed today's video remember 8 p.m tonight should be the rest of them and if you don't want to if you don't really care about that enjoy the draft come back later and check it out but that should be the other 27 so like you know isaiah simmons cd lamb jerry judy Ruggs, so on and so forth you guys know cj henderson so come back for that and my rewards at force come back for your free packs i'm out guys peace